Hi, I'm David Carbon, Vice President of Lexco Cable. Today I want to talk to you about threaded rods and clevises and yoke ends. The first aspect of threaded rods I want to tell you about is that they can come as all thread, which means continuously threaded. They can also come where just the ends of the rod are threaded. So let's take a look at both of those examples. In this assembly, it's utilizing all thread rod. You've got right hand all thread rod on one side. On the opposite side, you have a left hand all thread rod. So these have been joined by a turnbuckle body in the middle. Okay, alternatively is the style of threaded rod where you've got one rod and you got one side with left threads, one side with right threads. Sometimes this uh, version is called a tie rod, but it's been it's one piece of rod. That's the distinction. There's no turnbuckle body um, in this particular assembly as it's shown. So that's a little bit about threaded rods. Um, next, let's go over some clevises and yoke ends. What is the difference between clevises and yoke ends? Are those terms interchangeable? Um, yoke ends go up to three quarter inch thread. And the width of them is predetermined by standards and the clevis pin holes is also predetermined. So for example, for a three quarter inch yoke, you're gonna have three quarter inch tap, you're gonna have three quarter inch pin, you're gonna have three quarter inch inside width. It is symmetrical. So here's a yoke to demonstrate that. You've got the three quarter inch tap coming in this way, got the three quarter inch width, inside width, and then you've got a three quarter inch pinhole here. And so this same um, scale goes between quarter inch and three quarter inch. And those are adjustable yoke ends. They're adjustable yoke ends because they have a long throat in between the tapped base and the pinhole. And that long throat provides the adjustability. It gives you the ability to thread them on so that your rod is coming through. And then you can make a final adjustment, um, tightening it or loosening it. So that's the adjustable yoke end. So let's review now the clevis. Um, a clevis is customizable. They're make to order. Why? Because the thread can be within a range, the pinhole can be within a range, and the grip inside width can be within a range. So for example, here you have two clevises that were starting from the same forging. However, you'll see this one is much narrower. This is called the uh, grip is being as narrow as possible. And in this case, it's a little bit more similar to a yoke in that the inside width is straight up and down. So the, the clevis allows you more flexibility in specs, uh, whether you need a particular inside width, a particular pinhole, a particular thread. Um, when you don't need that flexible customization, you can use the adjustable yoke ends if you're in the three quarter inch and under diameter. Um, in, the, in the two examples we started off with, these were adjustable yoke ends for economy. This happens to be a 3 8 and this happens to be half inch. 
Um, this turnbuckle body is a 3 8 by 6 body. That means that there's 6 inches of take up. So that means 3 inches of take up on the right side, 3 inches of take up on the left side. If you were to request this assembly with the thread set midway, we would put one and a half inches of thread into the body on each side, and you would be left with three inches of open take up here in the middle for a take up adjustment. And this is a turnbuckle body, and this turnbuckle body could be used with a threaded rod assembly. So you can imagine it being uh, for a larger version of this assembly. That is a little bit of information on adjustable yoke guns, clevises, and threaded rods. Threaded rods can be all thread rod, continuously threaded, or they can be tie rods where they're only threaded at the ends. Thank you for watching.